What is the meaning of National Growth Index record? The performing states, the best performing states in India. So every year the list is released and according to 2020 list, Kerala tops the first, backs the first position, followed by Tamil Nadu, the state where I come from, Andhra and Karnataka. These are the first four performing states in all aspects, education, health sector, everything. And you know, you will be surprised to see or to hear the last performing state. What do you think is the last performing state? Which state do you think would be the last performing state? Not Definitely not Bihar, it not is UP. Uttar Pradesh. And Uttar Pradesh gets minus marking. Minus marking is also given for performing. Unfortunately, Uttar Pradesh seems to be in the last position. And Bihar and all that, they come above that. Definitely not in the first 10 positions. Okay, whatever it may be. Why do this national, why does this national, what you call growth index come into being? Why do they give? What is the reason for kind of releasing this report? So that the performance of states may go up in the coming year. By comparing the states, the performance of other states, the states which are at the bottom may try to come up. Even Jharkhand is performing better compared to Bihar and Uttar Pradesh and Orissa. Of course, Orissa is always at the bottom, but still it's trying to come up. Right, that was an extra information. So, now we are coming to the lesson. Boli is the name of a young girl. <coughs>
Seven members made the family. Four brothers, three sisters. Mangala was one sister. Champa was another sister. Radha was one more sister. And another sister's name is not given. Ramla was a man who preferred his sons. That was the concept of the society when the story was written. And this concept is alive even today. Ladka had good. All facilities, privileges. Because the boys are going to look after the parents. Yes or no? Girl, she has to go out of the house. And I have to give her in marriage. And to give her in marriage, I need a lot of money dowry. So girls are burdensome. Boys are privileged. No. We have to think otherwise. If there are no girls, what will happen to the creation of this world? Finish. The world will come to an end. No creation. No birth. That is why God created mothers, women. But Rama did not think it that way. Like many of the people of his time, he said, Poor boys, they are going to look after me. Send them to cities for education. Cities for? They got the best education. Four girls, Ramnath's wife herself said, don't educate them. What is the meaning? What is the use of getting them educated? Anyhow, they are going to keep the fire burning. They are going to keep the fire burning. Once they reach 18 years, give them off in marriage. And in older times, when children were below 18 years, even when they were below 18 years, they were given marriage. So Ramla's wife insisted that educate the boys because there is future for us. And Mangala was given in marriage. Settled. He was looking for a girl, I mean boy for Champa. Radha was also married. But nobody thought about Boli in the family because Boli had a brain injury. What did she suffer from? Brain injury. When she was six months old, she fell off from the bed and her head was so she ended up in a brain injury. Next, when she was about two years old, she was affected from smallpox. Chechak. So she had spots all over her face. Therefore, her IQ was affected. Not because of smallpox, but because of that injury that she had. So, she was a bit dull in understanding things. Not her fault, not at all her fault, but the parents would not accept that. Since she was slow in picking up things and slow in learning, the parents neglected Bodhi and that is why she was called Bodhi and the name Sintra Jandhi. Clear? So far clear? Ramlal was a rich man. He was a kind of what you call Mukhya or the village head man. Okay? And he had seven children, four sons and three daughters. Two daughters were given in marriage. One daughter was ready to get married. They were looking for a suitable boy, but Bodhi was not to be counted. Sir, four daughters name is Bodhi. Huh? Four daughters. Both? Four daughters are named Bodhi. Bodhi was the youngest, fourth. She was the youngest. She was not considered as a girl at all. How 
can we say this? Point number one. No dress was purchased for Gordon. Then how did she manage? How did she manage dressing? All the old dresses of her sisters were passed down to her. Point number one. Dresses. Number two. She was not even given a bath, decent bath for many days. Her hair became matted. What is the meaning of matted? They stuck to each other. Ah, jatha. In Hindi we call it as jatha. So she had matted hair. Dirt was filling her head. Number three. Even when it came to food, she was not fed well. Though she was the weakest in the family, she was not given the proper nutritious food or the substantial food. So she was actually a neglected child. Neglected child. Now, when Mangala was seven years old, I mean, when Mangala was about to get married, a school was inaugurated in Bodhi's village, primary school. A school was inaugurated in Bodhi's village, soon after Mangala's marriage. And who came to inaugurate the school? The Tesilda Sahib. Tesilda. He's a government officer. In every district you have Tesildars. I don't know what you call the Tesilda here. In South we call him as Tesilda. So what happened? This Tesilda came to inaugurate the Tesildars. And he went to Ramlal. He went to Ramla and he said, Ramla, you are a very important officer in this town. You are a village headman. So it is your responsibility to put your children in school. Boni was still a baby, I mean a child. And she was at the age of going to school. So what did he say? You admit your children in the school. But this fellow, he was a jackass. What do you mean by jackass? A donkey. The dog. He was confused. Why was he confused? He was afraid of his wife. A Jorika Bulam. He was afraid of his wife. Why? If he suggests to his wife about putting Boli in school or any of his girls in school, his wife would object to that. But anyway, he gathered some courage and put forward the proposal. You see, the Tesildar staff came to me and he said that they are going to inaugurate a primary school. So he told me to kind of put one of her children or maybe one or two of her kids in the school. She shouted, fired back at him. You stupid, have you lost your brain? Why should you kind of admit girls in the school? Why should our daughters go to school? They are supposed to be married. And marrying them is not a joke. It is a burden for us. And you know the situation where they are going to get out of the house. What is the need of education? Don't breathe a word about that. Let the Tessadar Sam say whatever he likes. I will not have any of my daughters sent to school. But then the Tessadar Sam was after this man and he said, at least one child from your family has to be admitted. You are an important government official. You have to set an example. And if you don't admit your children in the school, you as well. How can I convince the others? 
Then finally, with great hesitation, she had groaned. Okay. So if you want to admit, take that bully, but not other things. Poor bully. Ramlal approached her and said, Bully, from tomorrow, you have got to go to school. Bully cried. She cried and cried. I will not go to school. What is a school? She refused. She was stubborn. How tried to refuse her? But then Ramla was not the man to listen to her. Come, he said. And he told his wife, give a bath to this girl. After many days, Bodhi was bathed. Tons of dirt came off from her head. Then they put some oil on her head, combed her head. There was some leftover dress, <coughs> old dress, but it was a bit nice <coughs> on her dress. And when Bodhi understood that, these things were happening to her. She thought that she's going to go to a better place than home. Listen carefully. Bodhi thought that she was going to go to a better place than home. You understood the meaning? Home was a hell for this girl. And with all this new treatment, she understood, okay, they are going to take me to a better place. She's happy. Then finally, Ramla dragged that little boy to the primary school. He met the headmistress. And she said, very good. You made her sit in that corner. So the classroom was there. There were many students. They were all sitting with their slaves, busy writing something. And when Bodhi saw several girls and boys of her own age, she had some security. You see, peer group is very important. Peer group. What is the meaning of peer group? Boys and girls of the same age. That is why the peer group comes to school. You will not be comfortable with an LKG student or a UKG student or even of a student of primary class. You will tend to talk to them. You won't be comfortable in relating to them. Okay? You cannot share everything. You cannot maintain a friendship. But with your peer group, you are comfortable. You crack jokes. You laugh. You shout. Okay? You exchange notes. Okay? You get help in uh, connection to your studies. You are comfortable with your peer group. So peer group relationship is very important. Okay, that is why the school set up. In online kind of teaching, this peer group atmosphere is not possible. That's why coming to school is not only for learning, but a holistic development is behind that. Psychological development, physical development, Community development, human relationship, feelings, emotions, everything is attached to that. That's why a school is required. And a teacher has to be in touch with connection. So, Bodhi was happy with the peer group. Ah, there are so many students, all were kind of busy writing something. Some were jumping, laughing, making mischief. That's all required. It's all required. Because that makes Education complete. So if sometimes students are naughty, that is also good. Of course, you must make them understand what's wrong with them. But if they are not making this shit, then the atmosphere of learning will not be there. We are not robots. Are we robots? No. We are human beings. So, Bodhi was very happy. And her father made her sit there in the classroom. And finally, he said goodbye and left. Bodhi was looking at her father. But then, after attending the school, a terrible change came over this girl. Terrible change. Unexpected change. She took learning very seriously. 
Sometimes it's very, very uh, common, you know. Up to class 7 or 8, the boy will be very dull, very mischievous. The student will be very mischievous, not at all bothered about homework, assignments, classroom teaching. Just, he's happy with himself. But after class 8, suddenly what happens? There is an improvement. I have seen in my 20 years of teaching. Till class 8 and even in 9, he will be dull, one of the dullest. But suddenly there is a kind of change, you know. Surprising and a shocking change. Starts learning, busy with his books. And when you see the result, 90%. So, that is also possible. That was happening with this girl, Boli. Okay, she was co-op.